Welcome back, YouTubers. My name is Ray with uh, Ray's Engines. Uh, today I'm going to do a short video. Uh, it's talking about a crankshaft. I just disassembled this uh, 350, and I'm going to show you what happens whenever there's a rod knock. Um, a lifter knock is a little tap. A rod knock is a hard knock, louder than a, a tap. Um, I'm going to show you what I did. I'm about to take this to the machine shop and get the block done. Crankshaft is trash. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Uh, hit that bell, that way it alerts you. And also share this video so others can learn what you're learning as well. So if you want to come up this way, I'm going to show you the crankshaft, uh, which part is a uh, damage and which part is a good one. That way you can see it yourself. If you go down here, you'll see this damaged part. This is a major groove. This crankshaft is no good anymore. And you see this one, this is how it should be. And this is a major groove. You couldn't machine this any further down. It's done. This is trash. I'll show you the other one. If we go to this side here, this is the good side. As you can see, it's smooth. And it's even. This is an even rod bearing size. That's even. So if your crankshaft is like this and it just has a little mark in there, you can just polish it out. You don't even have to turn it. You can polish it and just uh, buy new bearings for it. Like I said, if we go back to this one, and you see that major groove there, that's major damage. This does not happen overnight. This is a constant running it as it's knocking. It'll start with the small light knock, and it'll continue, and it gets harder and harder, and you're still running it this way. This does not happen just overnight. I'm telling you, they were running this engine over and over until it, it didn't run anymore. So let's go back, and you see how this crank right here, how dark it is. That means that no oil changes. They were mistreating this engine. So you're, we'll go back to, I just want to show you that. And then here I'll show you the bearings while we're at it too. Um, I want to show you these bearings. These are the bearings from the bad rod. As you can see how thin it is and how major damage it is in here. But you see how thin it is here compared to a regular bearing difference on thickness size huge difference so the rod of course is no good either um, so you got one bad rod like what I said before this does not happen overnight this engine was abused if you're gonna if this is what you have and this is a 350 instead of buying another 350 crank and rods just go stroker it's about the same price. It is very close. Uh, you can get a stroker kit for this. Eagle crank, eagle rod, speed pro pistons, Marlin rings, Clevite bearings. And then sometimes they come with king bearings. I believe they're about 800, 900 bucks. So it beats doing this, so you might as well go ahead and stroke it out. So I just want to show you a, a quick video on, on a small block 350. And uh, hopefully this does help. If you do hear a rod knock, stop it. Don't run that engine any longer because this is what the damage is going to happen and it's going to cost you more to rebuild it. Um, and as I said before, it was a, a tap that's going to be a lifter. A hard knock is going to be a, a rod bearing. I'll do a future video if I do have a come across the engine that's knocking. That way you can see the difference of what a, the knock sounds like. That way you'll know yourself what, what to look for. I appreciate you watching. Share this video. Let someone else see this. And I, thanks for watching.